Hello, I'm Andrew Jordan, and this is Seneca Someone. I'm here today with Seneca professor Fred Duval. He teaches audio here. Fred, you're known for being quite a colorful character, but we want to know first, what did you do before coming to Seneca? Rock and roll. Uh, I was an active drummer, a uh, studio drummer, and I owned a studio, and I used to do lots of freelance work at other studios. So I've always been in the music industry and always in the recording industry. Yeah, I played with a band way back in time called Wednesday, and they had uh, a single out that uh, I was part of. And then there's not just the stuff I drum, but um, the recording. I worked very heavy with a band called The Killer Dwarfs. And as a matter of fact, uh, just now is a, a new release. We call it The Lost Album. It was done in 1993, and it's just showing its, uh, its music right now. How did you come from being a musician to teaching at Seneca? Jim Carr from radio is my connection here. He said to me many years ago, you should come and teach, you should come and teach. And I kept saying, no, 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 no. You know, I do what I do. And uh, the industry changed. You know, everybody had a studio. Not like mine, but everybody had a home studio. So the right away, everything just dropped and there was very little going on. So I went, well, I got to do something. So I thought, well, maybe I'll have a go at teaching. And uh, I'm now uh, clocking 15 years. So there you go. What went through your mind as you prepared for your first day? I didn't know what to expect. And I wasn't used to talking that much. And so to stand there and start explaining things and all that, it was really new. At first I was going, I don't like this. I really don't like this. But it didn't take too long. It was only a few weeks and I went, you know what? This ain't so bad, like I can do this. It really comes down to organization of how much you have to say, uh, um, what you get back from the students and all that. So now I'm glad, I'm glad I'm here. I always enjoy hearing about students that have gone on and done something you know, really good or, or are happening in the industry. So I mean, I've seen radio students be on the air, uh, behind the scenes. I've seen uh, journalism students on TV, and all of that going like, yeah, I taught them, you know, it's, it's good. So it makes it feel like, hey, I did something worthwhile, you know? Instead of just standing there talking or demonstrating <laughs> gear, they actually went on and did something really cool. That's fascinating. Uh, thank you very much for your time, Fred. I greatly appreciate the interview, and you've been a wonderful guest. Oh, yeah, no, no problem. I always got lots to say. <laughs> Thanks a lot. All right, bye-bye. I'm Andrew Jordan for Sane News.